Russia's space industry has made great achievements over the course of its history. But after the collapse of the Soviet Union, its space program has suffered from a chronic shortage of funds. In order to keep it afloat in the face of ever-rising costs, Russia is looking for international partners and collaboration. Besides working with the US and Europe, a promising deal is about to be signed with China. This agreement covers five areas of collaboration with our Chinese partners. They are lunar and deep space exploration, developing special materials, collaboration in the areas of satellite systems, Earth remoting sensing. And from this year, we plan to introduce a new area that will cover space debris research. The idea and possibility of once again having humans return to the moon has floated around for quite some time. But after this deal, that prospect is turning into reality. This is not the first space agreement between China and Russia, but it is the first to cover a partnership spanning five years, a period that allows for more ambitious plans and goals to be achieved. But is it sufficient? I think that the agreement is not enough. I see several areas in which it should be improved. It is necessary to bring political decisions that need to say that in piloted space missions we will go together with China and we are inviting other countries to join us. We also need to unite our dual-use space systems like GLONASS and Beidou, system of space communications, of Earth remote sensing, so those systems will be more effective and have less burden on our budgets. Lowering budget burdens is one of the main driving forces that pushes international space collaboration forward. And according to scientists from Russian state corporation Rostek Thermodynamica, this kind of collaboration has already fostered good results. Only international collaboration is the key for moving forward, and only when working together we can conquer space. Examples are joint work at the International Space Station, and when we work together with our Chinese partners here in this facility on developing and testing their spacesuits. The price of just one spacesuit like this one behind me is hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this is just one small but unavoidable part of any mission that sends men into space. So you can imagine how expensive everything else is. And one of the reasons why we don't have more cosmonauts in space is massive price tag that goes along with these missions. Here in Zvezda, they are not hiding that work on the new spacesuit system is already in progress and that they will be happy to welcome Chinese partners in the process. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Tomilino on the outskirts of Moscow.